This Pilates with props, you're on the BOSU. You pull your abs in. Your arms are by your side, look at your shoulders. Make sure as you're squatting, your shoulders don't do this. You keep them nice and elongated, take a deep breath in, squat down till you can't squat anymore, and push back up. Take it down, touch the weights, and notice how my shoulders stay over my hips. I'm not bowing forward. Straight down like an elevator, Beth, watch your shoulders. Take it down, elongate the neck, take it back up, so my shoulder blades stay down. My neck stays long, and take it back up. Breathe, exhale, and we inhale, and we exhale, and take it back up, inhale, and squat down, and take it back up, and squat down, and take it back up. One more time. Now, don't go as low, take it down, Take the weights together. Now, stay here, pull your abs in, squeeze your butt. Look down, take the weights over to the right hip. Slowly bring it up to the ceiling. Stay in your squat. Take it down and take it back up. Pull that core in. Make your waist really tiny. Take it back up. Squat down. Take it down. So put some thought into your movement. Take it down, this is hard. Yep, take it back up. Take it down. Legs should be shaking right now. Stay in your squat. You got three more. Number seven. Take it up. Eight. Take it up. Nine. Take it up. One more time. Take it down. Take it up, take it center, come back up. Stay on the bow to bring your arms out. Now, shoulder blades being down, a lot of people do this. That's not shoulder blades being down. Pull them into your pockets, ready circle to the front. Medium sized circles, the whole arm. Pull your abs in, eyes up, because if you start to look down, you're gonna round your shoulders. And lift, lift that whole arm. Eyes up. If you're new to Pilates, where your eyes go, your spine follows. So if you start looking down, you're gonna round your shoulders, it's not a good look. That's what we're trying to get away from. Bad posture. Circle. Stronger. Circle. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and slowly lower the arms down. We're gonna go from the beginning. Take a deep breath in, and I want you to squat down as low as you can, and take it back up. So it's not like I'm diving off the diving board. I want to stay vertical with my back, and you can see my shoulder blades stay down, they don't pop up. Take it down, and take it back up. And squat down, and take it back up. So there has to be some thought in your movement. When you do Pilates long enough, your body is so in tune with your mind that you stop yourself from falling. When you trip, I've done it. Take it back up. Breathe. Stronger. Take it down. Try to go as low as you can, getting those glutes involved. Down. And up, give me three more just like that. Take it down. And pull yourself back up. Give me two more times. Take it down. Take it up, and the arms are going shoulder high. Take it down. Now I want you to take it down, but don't go as low. Take an inhale. Go to your left. And raise up tall. Nice and slow with thought. If you go too fast, I promise you're gonna lose your balance, you're gonna lose your core. Take it down. Make sure you're in a squat, not standing. Bend those knees, take it down, and look up. Take it down, one side might be harder than the other. Take it back up. Take it down. Take it back up, pull your abs in. Take it down, and up. 
Four more. And back up. I haven't come up. I'm still sitting. If you, if you took a chair underneath me, I'd be sitting. I'm not standing. Breathe. Two more. Make sure your knees are bent and you're sitting in a chair. You're not moving your knees. Take it back to center. Take it up. Take your arms out to the side. Circle back. One, two, three, four. Try to keep your back as vertical as possible. That means you have to look straight ahead. Circle. Try to move the arm all the way from the shoulder, all the way from the shoulder. Yep. And we've just warmed up. That's it. Keep going. Last 10. Getting warm now. Yay! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come off your bow soon. Just want to show you something real quick. When you, do, when you were doing the wood choppers, I was looking for your knees. Watch what some people were doing. Okay, I'm gonna exaggerate it. Is this good? No, it's terrible for my knees. Now, some of you did it with just one leg. All right, when we do squats, the knees should be going wherever the feet are going. If you start to do this, you're gonna pull, you're gonna tear something eventually. Eventually. All right, we're ready? Grab your one glider, put it right behind your bosom. We good? Everybody has gliders? So are those two empty bosus? Take them. Take it out. Yeah, grab it. Grab it. If you want to, you know what, just bring the small one over there. Try it with the big one if you need to. Okay, you ready? This is what we're doing. Ready? Right foot has the glider. Right foot has the glider. In order to move the glider, I have to be light on my right foot. Light. If I put my foot all the way down, that glider's not gonna glide. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squat down as low as I can. I'm gonna bring it back up, put the leg down, reach the arms out, and three kicks to the side. Now, for those of you that are new, try not to be distracted by anything, follow me, especially if you're new. When you go into your curtsy, are my hips still where they were when I started? They're not like this, right? They're straight ahead. Then I come down. This is the big one. We did this on Friday. When I lift my leg up, am I leaning to the right? I'm not. I'm not. That doesn't mean you're not going to. I don't want to see you do this. Kick. Kick. There's no control there. So let's try it once. On your tippy toes right, your left foot is down. When we come up, we're going to shift. Okay, but right now your right leg is light. I'm gonna reach my arms out shoulder high and I'm gonna get down as low as I can. Squeeze your tush, come back up, place your right foot down, reach your arms up. Three kicks left, one. Don't lean, you just did it. I just showed you what not to do and you did it exactly like I said not to do. Take it down, into the curtsy. Take it back up, bring your arms up. Now do not lean to the right. One, two, three, take it down. Curtsy, take it up, arms up. Three, two, one, take the arms down, squat down. Arms out to the side. Take it back up, take the arms up first. Pull your abs in. One, two, three, squat down. Curtsy, take it back up, take the arms up first. Do not lean, pull the waist in. One, two, three, take it down, take it to a curtsy. Take it up, arms up, three, two, one. No leaning and I'm looking straight ahead. Take it down, take it back up, take the arms up, Three, point your toe. Two, point your toe. One, take the arms down. Take it into your curtsy. Take it back up. Arms up. Three, slow your head down. Two, and one. Take it down into a curtsy. 
Take it back up, place your right leg down, take your arms up, hold your abs in. Three, two, one more time, curtsy. Take it back up, take the arms up, lift. Two, three, switch legs. Okay? The thing about it is, Pilates is a mind body connection. Anybody ever run out, if you woke up late and you had a rush and you left like three things you should have not, you should have brought, I forgot this, this, and this because I was rushing. The same thing happens when you exercise. If you're like, I gotta do the arms and then I gotta kick, you're going to forget something. That's why I went slow. We lifted our arms, then we lifted our legs. Everything is methodical, it's very thought out. All right, so my glider's on my left leg. You ready? You wanna go onto your tippy toes. Take a deep breath and go into a curtsy, arms go out. I come back up, I place my left foot down, I reach my arms up without leaning. Oh, you just lean. Two, three, take this leg down, arms down, go into your curtsy. Take your leg down, arms up, no leaning. Two, three, into your curtsy. Take it down. Take it back up, arms first. Kick, one, two, length of the leg, three. Take it back down to your curtsy. Down, reach. Take it back up, arms out. One, you caught yourself. Two, three, take it down. Take it back up, because I want to get my arms shoulder high before I kick. One, two, pull your abs in. Curtsy. Take it back up. Arms up. Three. Two. One. Take it back down. Breathe. Reach the arms out. Take it up. Arms out. Nope. Don't kick in arms. Slow your mind down. If you're going faster than me, you got to slow down. Take it down. You got two more after this one. Take the arms out. Then we kick. One. Two, three, take it down. Reach, I hear you. Take it up. And I got it on video for posterity to hear the voices. Uh. Take it down, last time. Take it up, arms out. One, two, and three, recover. Okay, you're gonna need both gliders. What I'd like you to do is turn your BOSU over, we call this dome, down, because that's the dome, the top part. I'm gonna show you the exercise. So if you catch yourself, oops, I went before she said to, oops, my arms went up too fast. What that's telling me is that you're not here yet. It's a mind-body connection, slow it down. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna grab one weight. Yes, be scared, be very scared. And I'm gonna place it right there. Huh? You can face in, you can face in. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to my plank. I'm gonna wait back a little bit closer to my foot. Around the way, uh -huh. I'm gonna go that way. Isn't that fun? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna bring it in and around the weight. I'm gonna bring it in and around the weight. Yeah, you laugh, try it. I'm gonna bring it in and around the weight. I'm gonna bring it in and around it. Okay? You ready? When we do it slow, it's easier because you can look at the weight. Okay, so here we go. Put your weight down. Your weight close to your feet because you're gonna need it. If it's too high up, you're gonna have to bring your knees in too far. You ready? Hands on the posters. Come up to a plank. Yeah, glue your legs together. Glue them. Okay, pull your abs in. Look down at the weight so you know where it is. I want you to circle your legs around the weight. Not as easy, huh? 
Now you're not laughing at me, are you? All right, now look at the way. Circle the other way. Stay in plank and give me five push-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down for a sec. Okay? So if you're looking at the way, I'm going to show it to you. I'm looking so I know how far I have to go around. Okay, you got to look. You can circle without the weight, but the reason I want the weight there, why do you think so? I could easily tell. I was saying we've done this without the weight there. Why is the weight there? You know how far you have to go. So let's do it with the weight twice, then we'll take the weights away. It's for the same reason that, I'm trying to think of an exercise. Okay, later on we're gonna do something like this. If the BOSU wasn't there, what would happen most likely? You go where you're like too far. So the weight's there as a guide, try to get a little farther, because when it's not there, you can cheat. Which is not a bad thing, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put your elbows. Yeah, yeah. If you have a wrist issue, you can put the BOSU over onto the dome up and go on your elbows. But the one thing that I want you to do, remember when we do push ups, we don't look at our feet, remember. But because I want you to really get that circle, see how I just did it now? The more we practice, the better we're going to get at these. When you circle, look at the weight, then when we do our push ups, you look a little bit ahead. Okay, so you ready? Come on up. Okay, we're going to go to the left this time. So look at your weight, bring the legs around to the left and back to the center. Pull your abs in, go to the right, and come back to the center. Push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, look at the weight, go to the right. Keep my weight, I keep my weight, I keep my weight. And go to the left. And come back to center. And five push ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, put the weight to the side. We're going to do it again. We're going to go right, left, push up, left, right, push up, then we're done with these. Okay, it's hard. But the, put, what the reason I put the weights there was it gives you a guide. Tells you how far you gotta go around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come up to a plank. You don't have to look at your feet now, right? Because you're not gonna kick the weight. Take your legs to the right, circle to the left. Take them to the left, circle to the right. Give me five push-ups. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up, bring your legs to the left. Make a big circle. Take it to the right. Big circle, push up, five, four, three, two, and one, recover. Nice work. All right, yep, grab your weights, grab your weights, keep your gliders. Arms up. Whichever leg is gonna go back, Bow and arrow, back up here. So whichever leg is going back, that's the arm that goes out to the side. Bow and arrow in Pilates, this is what it looks like. It's a bow and arrow, okay? So we have our feet halfway off the gliders. We're gonna start with the leg that's closest to the front of the room. Take the arms up. Now, I expect you to go as deep as you can. You have to have any issue, you don't go as deep. Take a deep breath and make sure the shoulder blades are down. Take it to the front leg. Reach to the front. Keep the arms up nice and high. Drag it back in, arms straight ahead. Take it to the back leg. Reach. Don't let that arm go down. Take it back up. Pull the abs in. Straight up. And pull. And pull yourself back up. Take it down. So if you don't go as far as you physically can, your butt's not getting any workout. Take it back to the front. Take it back up. Take it to the back leg. Take it back up. So I'm looking straight ahead, because I know. Okay? 
You make your success, you make your failure. If I were to look down, I'd be rounding my shoulders. Push out. Take it up. Push out. Make sure your shoulder blades are down. Take it back in. Bow and arrow. Push. Take it up. Push. Take it back up. Push. Take it back up. Front. Abs in. Straighten that arm. My arms don't bend unless they're doing the other part of the arrow. One arm stays straight. Stay straight. Then it bends. Then the other arm stays straight. Give me one more in each after this one. Shoulder blades down. Pull. No. God. And take it in. And take it up. 